Hello everyone, so an update here on the ongoing counter-offensive. First of all, this video here. This shows that Ukrainian troops have entered and liberated the settlement of Blahodatna. This is the first settlement confirmed as liberated during the new counter-offensive, and hopefully will be the first of many. The next bit of the video I recorded earlier, but I have a busy day today, so basically I only have time to cobble this bit on the start rather than re-edit the whole thing. But the rest of the video pretty much covers what we know so far, just with the confirmation that Blahodatna has been liberated. Here's a map showing Blahodatna's location. So pretty interesting news. Now I'll play the rest of the video which I prepared earlier. And at the end of the video, I'm going to play a thank you message from the Ukrainian Volunteer Center. Hello everyone, so an update here on the ongoing counter-offensive. Now this is unconfirmed, we can't say it's fully confirmed until we see photos or videos of Ukraine raising the flag in the town. But numerous channels, both Russian and Ukrainian, are saying both Novodonetsk and Neskuchna are now liberated, with Ukrainian forces advancing further south towards Rivnipil. This map here shows the situation and was put together by Null Reports, who is a pretty good source for information. Rybar, a Russian telegram source's map, is similar, with a few differences. Rybar putting Ukraine in control of Neskuchna and Blahodatna, but not capturing Novodonetsk yet. Here is the third map, this one taken from Tendar's Twitter page, another trusted source. This shows Ukrainian control over Novodonetsk and Neskuchna with advances now towards Storozeva. So there is a lot of conflict and information, but it certainly seems that advances have been made. I think we are going to need to wait for official confirmation, or at least videos of Ukrainians in these settlements before saying for definite. But things are looking good. This is located here, the southern front south of Velika Novo Silka. Now for the next set of maps, we will head west. So this is Noll Reports' map, and he's putting Lobkova under Ukrainian control, and also an advance towards a town called Robotina. This area near Robotina and Nova Pokrovka is where we've seen Leopard sent. This area is located here, on the southern front north of Tokmak. Now, I covered this in a video yesterday, but I'll just look at this map here too. So Robotina is shown to be near the second defensive line of Russia's. So the first line, which Ukraine have reportedly got through, is much smaller and less defended. So Russian forces in this area, if the reports are accurate, have withdrew to these more fortified positions in the second layer around Robotina. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the situation here. In the meantime, if you found this video interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. And take care, everybody. Доброго дня. Вас вітає Українське добровольчий центр. Сьогодні ми привезли два інверторні генератори до хлопців з аеророзвідки на запорозькому направленні і смакових зв'язків. Велике дякую всім, хто долучився до цього збору. Ці генератори допоможуть хлопцям вкотре доказувати, що місце окупантів у землі. Усі звіти, чеки по цим генераторам будуть по цілці в описі цього відео. Слава Україні! Героям слава!